And the Long Center is hosting the Total Eclipse viewing party for something a little bit closer into town, starting with an 11 a.m. party. They're going to have an array of festivities. That runs until 3 this afternoon. Yeah, we got Tierra Newbaum out there <laughs> live right now to preview the big event. Tierra, what's going on? Good morning, guys. Yeah, they're getting set up here and uh, doing some sound checks. They've got the glasses set out, some uh, different pamphlets and, and bags that folks are going to get. But the Long Center, in partnership with the Simons Foundation, putting on the total eclipse viewing party, and it's going to be a good one. Yvette, what's happening today? Uh, we're so excited. Doors open at 11. We have this free community viewing event happening here at the Long Center, and we're excited to experience this with um, all the folks in Austin. You guys have been working on this for two years. What are some of the things that people are going to get into, and what went into making it come to life? Yeah, so we've been working with many partners all across the city of Austin, obviously the Long Center, but also Fusebox Festival, Waterloo Greenway, The Thinkery, all creating their own events and experiences for people to engage with the eclipse. And we're just excited to see it all come to fruition today. In the path of totality is what the event's called. Some local breweries going to be brewing, or already brewed a beer for you guys that you will have out here. Um, the Simons Foundation, though we hear a lot about it surrounding this eclipse. Who are you guys? What are you up to year-round? Yeah, we're a basic science um, discovery institution, so we fund science all across the U.S. and around the world. But we're also really, really interested in creating opportunities for people to engage with science in ways that are meaningful to them. And so over the last two years, we've been creating these new programs that allow people to come to science, get excited about astronomy, especially given the eclipse, and create new on-ramps to science, potentially for careers or just for an interest. Yeah, I always love learning, so this is a fun new one. And Megan, you're a, a scientist that studies astrology, specifically the sun. So scientifically, what are we seeing today? What are we going to experience? Uh, yeah, so this will be a very astronomically interesting event, one of the most special phenomena that we have in nature. Um, and what will happen is uh, we'll be standing in the shadow of the moon briefly this afternoon. Uh, we'll basically experience nighttime in the middle of the day. Uh, and that's because um, the moon will be blocking out our view of the sun. And uh, for the brief moments of totality, um, this afternoon, afternoon, uh, we'll actually be able to see, if the clouds clear up, uh, the corona of the sun, um, which is something that you can normally never see with your own eyes. Wow. And the history of this event uh, is, is something special, too. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. So solar eclipses play a really important role in the history of astronomy. They're how we first learned that the solar corona exists. Uh, we even were able to test Einstein's theory of relativity with a solar eclipse. Uh, so they hold a special role in history, and it's great that we're going to be able to experience it for ourselves. Wow. Anything else people should know when experiencing this today? Um, well, I guess that uh, people tend to experience kind of an emotional reaction to this. Uh, it's kind of humbling to really experience the sun as the huge star that it is with so much power over us. So uh, just enjoy it and reflect on our place in the universe. Super cool that we get to experience this and, and people can show up at 11 o'clock. Anything else they should know as they plan their trip out? Um, no, just bring it bring lots of energy and hope that these clouds are going to clear and we're going to get a great show. Yeah, it should be a good day. The party's here no matter what, guys. 11 o'clock, the doors open. The party will continue here until 3 o'clock. It is first come, first serve, even if you RSVP. It's whoever shows up first gets in. And uh, what a beautiful backdrop to watch just a historic day right here in Austin, Texas. Back to you in the studio. Good day to party, yeah. no matter what exactly. the sun does. Exactly. And then that's what I love about it. I mean, I it, it's going to bring folks together. There it is. There's the peak in the clouds. Hey, just got to hold that. Freeze that right there. <laughs> That'll be enough. All right. Thanks, Tira.